I am going to Australia tomorrow. My flight is at half nine tomorrow night and it's currently like 7 p.m. the day before. It's currently Boxing Day, but I just kind of want to start this vlog with you actually knowing what's going on because I'm not going to be able to update you whilst I'm on the plane. But yeah, I'm going to Australia East Coast for three and a half weeks and I wanted to do a little vlog of it and I'm so excited. Tomorrow I'm going back down to London to drop all of my uni stuff back off at uni and then I'm going from London Heathrow. So it's kind of ideal that my flight's in the evening. So tonight I'm kind of wrapping up all the videos, making sure things are sorted, stuff's prepped for my trip away and I need to wash my hair because it's disgusting. My case is all packed now. I'm just kind of like charging up everything, all my devices. And I've got my clothes out for me to wear on the plane tomorrow. So I've got this long sleeve top, some leggings, and I'm gonna wear a hoodie as well. But I'm going to Melbourne, Brisbane, Cairns or Cairns, I don't know, like Rainbow Beach, Gari. And it's just, it's gonna be a good time. I'm going on my own. This is my first time solo traveling. So I'm sure I will have a lot of thoughts and feelings to talk to you all about. I'm staying in hostels the whole time. And yeah, it's crazy. Like the next time I go to sleep in a bed, it's gonna be in a hostel, which is wild. So I'm very excited to bring you all along with me. I've got like four batteries with me, two SD cards. So you'll be seeing as much as possible as as much as i feel comfortable getting the camera out in front of other people i'll try my best yeah this is gonna be a fun vlog and let's just get on with it good morning everyone it is the 27th it's the day that i fly um it's about half past eight i'm gonna try and do some of my uni assignment this morning do a little tiny bit of filming because it's not completely necessary i just need to put my skincare away for this for this morning like in my bag and pack it all and we are completely hello and then we are just good to go so yeah i will keep you updated along my journey i am in the gonzu china airport just about to board. It's like literally like 7 p.m. at night, which is crazy. But yeah, I'll update you later because people are staring at me. Bye. Hey guys, I finally found a moment to vlog a little bit of peace and quiet. I am in Alexander Gardens, I think, next to the river in Melbourne, and it's beautiful. Look at all the palm trees. I'm right by the river but this bench isn't facing the river. The sunshine is just coming out. I've just got an acai bowl and this is like ginger, spinach. I am feeling a little bit nervous I won't lie like I've only ever traveled with someone and I've never stayed in hostels because I think I've said this before but in Southeast Asia it was like just as cheap to do Airbnbs but I kind of wanted to do it to and kind of force myself to learn how to be okay with being sociable quite a lot of the time but yeah the girls were asleep when I went in and I didn't want to disturb them so I just dropped my case off and liked it basically but yeah I'm just gonna have my smoothie bowl now and I will catch up with you later there's so many birds here this is just gonna be a quick update but it is the day after I last spoke to you yesterday I went to the beach and I did some fun stuff um, and then I got actually really upset last night I think I was just like really overtired and kind of overwhelmed like I've never stayed in hostels before let alone by myself and then today I went out this morning I went to the same park as yesterday to like post some videos I was just kind of like walking around all the shops for a bit but then it started raining so I've come back and it just looks really miserable outside and like it's just really cold there is that guilt like when you're traveling somewhere that you have to be doing stuff all the time but i feel like i've just been so exhausted like i just need to sit down and chill and then maybe i'll go out later i did some shopping as well so i got my little coles bag i got some gluten-free oats with chia seeds in i got this little lemon drink I got some strawberries this is like oh my god it's gonna go everywhere that's like the alternative to the probiotic yogurt i normally buy and then i've got a lemon and ginger that's lemon and ginger tea and then i've got 
these for like little snacks is literally just fruit. I'm just trying not to like let myself have a nap because if I have a nap, I'm not gonna be able to sleep later. Hey guys, good morning. I'm being quiet because I'm in a hostel toilet. Why does this camera make my skin look really bad? It's literally just scarring, ignore that. Um, I'm just about to go out. I just had a like hour long FaceTime, like a two hour long FaceTime call with my nan which was really nice. Um, and now I'm about to go out, go for a little wander, and then I'm gonna come back, maybe have a shower, and then I'm gonna meet Emily, but she's got food poisoning. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I'm just about to go out, I'm gonna get a little herbal tea, I'm gonna go and find a park to sit in. I might just sit in the park that I was in before. I'll bring you along with me, and hopefully I can talk a bit louder as the day goes on. Hey guys, I'm just about to go and meet Emily. This is my little fit, Stradivarius, Zara, Sheen, and then these are both Pandora. My nan got me these and my mum got me these. I've put on a little bit of makeup because my skin is not slaying. This is what the weather is looking like in Melbourne today. It's kind of feeling toasty in this room, so hopefully it's not that toasty outside because I don't do well in the heat. Yeah, tomorrow is when I fly to Brisbane. Okay. Oh. So is it recording right now? Yeah. Hang on, let me sort my air out. Hey guys, hey welcome guys. to the vlog of, it's a bit sunny, I don't want to swear, sorry. Hi guys, welcome to life of, is it your, is your YouTube live with, yeah. with Mills still? Uh, welcome to life with Mills. This is Millie, if you didn't already know. Uh, I am, <laughs> I'm not Millie, <laughs> I'm panicking. <laughs> we just oh. had burger. Oh, so you've already started vlogging? Yeah, I'm vlogging my trip. Oh, I thought you said that you haven't, uh, no. Oh. Right, yeah, so we've just had some burgers. I didn't have a burger, because I'm not gonna lie, I've got food poisoning. <laughs> I told this random guy that's like staying in the same apartment complex as me that I had food poisoning, he was just like, all right. And I was just like, oh. I was panicking because I didn't know what to say, um, <laughs> like I am right now. It's New Year's Eve. It is New Year's Eve. Just crossing the road illegally right now. Shh, don't tell anyone. You bought any books with you? Verity. I'm running out there. If you've watched Ver Red Verity, it's good, isn't it? It's a bus. Crispy chicken tendon duck taco. <laughs> Thus. Thumbs up if I should start a vlog channel as well. I think it would be a bit chaotic. Imagine we if did I... do one together. Yeah, we did. Imagine if I just wore a GoPro on a Wednesday night. <laughs> You'd see some sights, I'll tell you that for free. My TikToks would go viral if you did that. I actually might, shall I? Yeah, I think you should. Fuck it. Hey guys, it might be a bit noisy in here. I'm just in a clothing shop. Um, I'm not with Emily anymore. I've just left her, but... It was really nice to see her. You know like if you've been having like a bit of a rough day and then you see your mum and you start crying? That's how I feel about Emily. Because I haven't seen her in like over three months, which is crazy because I literally used to see her every single day. I've just like rubbed at my skin, so I'm really bad. Um, but tonight I was invited by my hostel friend to go to this party um, with like all of her friends. I am a lot better at socialising than I used to be, 100%, otherwise I wouldn't have even believed I could come solo travelling. Um, but like, even staying in a hostel is a lot for me. Interluding in here to say I didn't go to the party, I decided to stay in and go to the rooftop of my hostel and watch the fireworks. And I'll insert some clips of the fireworks. It was actually unreal though, like we were on a rooftop and you could see fireworks from like all over Melbourne. So I'll put in the little clip that I've got here from that. But yeah. <laughs> I just had my flight from Melbourne to Brisbane. I, mean, I was actually put on an earlier flight because I was there early. So anyway, it all went fine, collected my baggage, got here to, it's called the Bunk Hostel in Brisbane. Went upstairs and then was like, oh, I probably need to just unpack my stuff. Unpacked it, realised it wasn't my case, it was someone else's. It's the exact same suitcase. Like, I can't even tell it apart right now. And I obviously picked up the wrong one. So I was like crying to the receptionist, like, oh my God, like, please help. And then all of the numbers to the airport weren't working. So then I just went back to the airport. Basically, I'm doing a bag swap with 
the person that's got my gay. I've not been able to see any of Brisbane today. I think I'm gonna go to the Australia Zoo tomorrow, but that's about it and I'll catch up with you later. Let me just show you. This is the case I accidentally picked up, okay? This is what it looks like. And then I'll show you the case that is actually mine once the guy arrives. all good the room looks like it's like quite a lot of privacy which i like like no one can see my head when i'm sleeping but these girls must know what they're doing because they've made little like fishing lines <laughs> not fishing lines washing lines the little view it's not that great to be honest um <laughs> i don't know if that is of importance that little bridge hey guys i'm just quickly vlogging on my phone i'm in a taxi um and this taxi is costing me 80 pounds to get to the zoo and i'm gonna have to pay 80 pounds to get back because all of the trains are cancelled and like this is the only day i can go so if i don't go like i'm not going at all and i've got a ticket to go anyway so i'm in a taxi i'm with this guy no idea what his name is obviously he's a taxi driver and he's talking to me all about business and all about affiliate marketing and all about what I do and all about journaling and angel numbers. <laughs> yeah, he's super nice. He lives in Noosa. I'm currently in Brisbane, by the way. Um, I think I've told you that. I'm not sure if I did because I was in a bit of a mare yesterday when I lost my bag, but it's currently the day after. And then tomorrow I go to, I think it's a Rainbow Beach. I think I'm staying in Freedom Hostels. Um, and I've got a bus tomorrow morning at like 9am. But yeah, I've also made a friend in my hostel called Ollie. Um, he's actually from the UK, from Northampton. And it was really nice because I was making references and jokes and he was understanding them. Because like obviously meeting everywhere, everyone from like all over the world is so fun. But like when someone understands your reference from like where you're from, it's like, wow, I feel like I'm at home. Yeah, I've got my little Australia top on. I feel like I'm slaying. And yeah, I'll speak to you in a little bit when I'm hugging the koalas. I've arrived at the zoo. It's raining so heavily. Hey guys, I've just arrived and it's torrential rain. So I've got a lovely poncho on. But yeah, I'm just gonna go to the Crocoseum. Spot the crocodile. There he is. There's some more crocodile. It is so crazy. It's a crocodile. This is an otter. I'm at the little koala nursery. And there's a koala here hiding. There's one here. And this is a baby on its mum's back. I spy some kangaroos. They're a bit soggy. Hi guys, um, sorry if you're a bit wet, it's, it's soaking. I'm getting my lunch, but I'm currently trying to dry off my shoes. My socks are like absolutely drenched. The wet clothes are over there. I've put the hoodie on. I just, I couldn't decide what to get and thought I could get one for dinner anyway, whichever one I don't eat. But this is a Buddha bowl. Doesn't it look good? Vegan, gluten-free, dairy-free, slay with the little dressing. And then this is the veg, spinach and quinoa salad. Just chilling, but it's absolutely torrential rain. I walked around for about an hour. I can't walk around anymore. Like, I'm absolutely sad. A bit random, wasn't it? That was me just showing you my bed silently because everyone was um, chilling. But yeah, so I got back from the zoo couldn't really vlog my phone was like broken from the rain um got back packed up all my stuff because as i said i had a bus the next morning to go to rainbow beach in rainbow Bre breach <laughs> in rainbow beach um basically most people just stay there to go to fraser island or some people call it gari basically that's an island off the grid you go with like a little company and there's just like a group of you and there's a tag along tour so what you do is there's like six or eight of you in a car and you all like follow each other and you go and visit different places on the island so that's a little debrief let's go to rainbow beach hey everyone just arrived at my new hostel just checking there's no one here this is the outside looks like this there's people coming 
I know I keep updating you on my phone and not my camera, but it's because my camera is like buried in the bottom of my bag. But I have just arrived at my Rainbow Beach accommodation. Ooh. Um, I'm here for one night and then tomorrow I go on the Fraser Island tour, which is like off the grid, no service, no Wi-Fi, no nothing. Um, and that's for three days, three nights, two days, I think. Two days, three nights, don't know. Is that the same thing? <laughs> Um, everyone in my hostel is really nice. Um, I made a friend today and most people are going on the tour tomorrow anyway. So that's a big sleigh, but I'm just going to head to the beach now. I've got my little outfit on. I've got a cute bikini on. And yeah, I will catch up with you all later. I'm going to take a hair, oh no, I've got a hairband on my wrist actually. Hi guys, I'm on the beach now. I'm reading my book. Got my little Aldi bag. Isn't it cute? It's got kiwis on it. And yeah, this is the this is the ocean. This is Rainbow Beach. Just on the beach. This is Rainbow Beach, if I haven't already said. It's nice and warm, but I'm like in a little bit of the shade because you know, skincare girly. <laughs> arrived at camp. This is Gari Fraser Island. This is our tent. Um, yeah, this is, it's pretty basic. Um, we literally got a tent and no pillows. But yeah, Slay, I'll update you later. It's evening. There's a fire over there. Tents over there. Fairy lights over there. Fire over there. Can you see it? Fire over there, burgers over there. We're going to the beach. Morning. I had the worst night's sleep. I had like three hours in this little tent. It's currently like seven o'clock. I've been up since four and there is bugs everywhere. I've got sun cream on. I'm a little bit sweaty. It's absolutely roasting. I love it. Because can you see I've got a bit of sunburn. There's someone was snoring all night and someone was arguing in the middle of the night. So that was all fun and games. So tomorrow we leave, but like, we still have a full day here. And the day after I've got a 15 hour bus overnight to Early Beach. My mum has probably just uploaded my TikToks, bless her heart. But yeah, that's it. I'll uh, show you some bits later. actually sure the last time I spoke to you um, I don't even think I spoke to you in Rainbow Beach or at Fraser Island um I'm all right like that's what you've just seen I did Fraser Island and Rainbow Beach you've just seen Jesus but I'm basically in Ellie Beach I got here yesterday morning after a 15 hour bus let that sink in 15 hours and I'm someone that gets car sick. The reason I'm in Early Beach is because it's where Whitsundays Islands are, like where the tour goes from. So I've got three days of that tour starting today. I've just checked out of my hostel. And I'm just about to go and actually get my nails done because they're a little bit stubby. Um, yesterday I booked a skydive and haven't told my mum about it. Hello everyone. It's a little bit later now. I'm walking alongside Early Beach. I've just got my nails done. I bought a cute ring. I have asked the lady in the shop which one she thought I could buy because they had like an overlessent one as well. But yeah, I've got like a 10 minute walk to the boat and I'm gonna be like 45 minutes early. But it's okay. I don't really know where I'm going to be honest, but I'll show you the boat room we're on it and I'll show you the scenes behind me. This is the beach. 
this, I went onto the Wit Sunday's boat. I'm the worst YouTuber ever, and I didn't even record any landscape videos. But there's like so many moments that I want to show you. So I hope you don't mind. I'm just gonna put in a few portrait clips. Okay, love you. This is Dory, and this is my single. That's a double, so two people are singing on there. We were staying on the boat for two nights. I had two roommates, they were both girls. Loved them, both from Edinburgh. Loved them, still loved them. Um, but that was the alarm clock that went off at six o'clock every morning, full blast in the speakers, circle of life. Yeah, so after the two days we left the boat and I went back to Early Beach for one day and in that one day I had my scenic flight which was over the Great Barrier Reef which is where the Whitsundays was, the boat that I was on, um, that's where the boat went. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to show you me on the way to the scenic flight. I was very hungover at this point, the scenic flight was dreadful, like as in like it was so beautiful but I was literally just going to vomit the whole time, but yeah scenic flight <laughs> hey guys it is the 12th of january today it is a friday um i go home a week today and it is my last day in Irvy Beach. So this weekend I went to Whit Sundays. My brain's not working today. And I think I spoke to you briefly at Whit Sundays. I probably put in some like little clips and stuff of what I've been up to. But I made some great friends and it was really sad today because they all left and not all of the birds. Um, I just went and got a tattoo. I don't know if you can see it. I've got the second skin on at the moment, but I just went and did that. Um, I'm reading my book, Verity. I'm just over halfway through now, and I really want to finish it today because it's actually a really great book. Hey guys, good evening. Um, it's the same day, but I am just updating you again. I've got my little rosy nose. Did get a little bit uh, burnt, so that's been peeling today, which has been <laughs> lovely. But yeah, so I leave here tomorrow. I'm just going to go out for dinner now. I was absolutely exhausted earlier and I still haven't slept. Also, I can't, the lighting is really strange here, the exposure. The hostel is a state. This is my stuff over there. I haven't even bothered to unpack it. But I think what I'm just going to do is go, I think I might go to the same place I went to last night. I am such a creature of habit. Oh, did I show you my tattoo? I think I did. Back, so... After Early Beach, I went to Magnetic Island. I didn't really like it, which is why I literally just didn't even vlog there. I've got a few, like, portrait clips, whatever. It was just not the vibe. It was not the vibe. There was not really anything to do. It was really bad weather. Um, like, it was fun. Like, I met some girls from Canada. Like, we made friends, whatever. But, like, it was nothing, it was like, why did I even go? Like, I would have had such a better time if I would have just stayed where I was or just went straight to Cairns. So, yeah, I got the, sorry, my eyes itchy. <laughs> I got the bus from Early Beach to Magnetic Island. We had to get a ferry, but whatever. I went to Magnetic Island and then spent a few days there. And I'll just show you some of the clips from there, but not too much, because honestly, it wasn't even very good. <laughs> exciting part so just got on the ferry today we went to Cairns okay Cairns is up the east coast whatever had a skydive okay roll the tapes of the skydive it's all a bit um OTT 
but oh my god this sky that was the best thing ever and i've got just like a whole video of it so i'm just going to insert that yeah. what are we dressed up all funny for what's this i'm going on a skydive bye Welcome back. Hi guys. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great. Thank Thanks you for jumping that Scott up Mission Beach. Hey guys, I know it's been a little while since I've updated you. I've been in Cairns for a few days and I did my skydive. It's a really noisy road. I've been in Cairns for a few days, did my skydive, and I actually fly home tomorrow. Um, so I actually put myself into a beautiful hotel for the night. Look how big the bed is. Got a balcony, huge bathroom, in my opinion, this is stunning. But yeah, I've got an early flight tomorrow, so yeah, another day, another slay. Hey gang, that was ironic. Ironic? I was doing that ironically. Anyway, um... I'm literally like five minutes into editing this video, but I just want to give it a little debrief because I just know that I didn't sign off this video. So I'm going to turn up this brighter. You know, you can't see me. It's fine. I genuinely, I feel like a different human being to who I was at the start of this video now. Um, it's currently like mid-February, I think. Is it? Yeah. Early Feb? Not sure. So I've been back for like three weeks, two weeks, three weeks, not sure, three weeks, I think. And honestly, like this was like the best experience ever. I met the coolest people ever, like some real cool people. And I just feel like so much just like me, like to the point it makes me like want to cry. <laughs> I just the whole experience and like being on my own like but meeting new people like I used to be the most sociable person ever when I was younger and then like I became like really anxious and I just kind of told myself I was really introverted and I am not like the whole time in hostels like being with people all the time I absolutely loved it I loved it and like at the start of this video which is why I'm editing right now I'm saying like sleeping in a room with other people like being with other people all the time like that makes me anxious that makes me excited now like I feel like I, this trip like this is why traveling makes you like find yourself because you realize things about yourself because you're in situations that you're not normally in and obviously it wasn't necessarily like Australia that was like the best thing ever it's always learning things about yourself and like making your life better is the best thing ever because now I'm so much happier than before I was in Australia. A lot of things have changed. Um, like since Australia, I've made a lot of decisions like career wise and just like a lot of decisions, like lots of things have changed because I got so much clarity whilst I was out there. And honestly, I had the best time ever. I met the best people and I can't wait to go back. I'm going back in a few months. Um, yeah, I felt like going out there really gave me the confidence to just do what I want to do with my life and actually just like, stop living in misery because it's kind of it's giving loser lame energy you know um but yeah i thought i'd just give it a little a little a little, a little debrief um because yeah i'm just i'm feeling so good also i'm happy to be back on youtube i i feel up like with youtube it's because it takes hours and hours to edit something yeah to the point where it's just like so much effort to start like when you're on a roll and when you're like uploading every week it's fine but when you have that break mm, it's kind of hard to get back into it, but I'm back into it. And also I'm feeling at the moment just like so confident in front of like everyone and a camera. Um, whereas like, I don't know, I feel like I used to be a little bit more withdrawn on YouTube just cause like I'm kind of, I was kind of like shy, anxious, but I just, I'm so happy within myself at the moment. And I really want to bring you guys with that, along with that. <laughs> Not really sure where I'm going here, but 
I've got some exciting events coming up and I want to bring you. So yeah, thank you so much for being here. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and yeah, I'll see you on my next one. Love you.